Hello and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 2. So, we have explored all of the slums district, so it's time to move on to somewhere else. But before we do so, I want to briefly talk about our companions, as I've had a quick read through at how their quests start. Because, so well, basically, I don't want to be stuck with a companion who doesn't have any quest, because I'd much rather have somebody with interesting content. So, here's uh, the long and short of it. All of our companions currently have quests which require them to stay in the party. Yoshimo, we have his quest. Jahira has a quest which apparently bugs out if she leaves your party, or at least I read that once, so she has to stay in our in I our party. Use of time. Hexa has a quest that starts at no some point, our is all I can get from it. Same with Nalia, both of them have quests that just trigger off some unknown thing, but they'll just trigger at some point in the game. Um, and no man actually has a quest though, which has a specific start point, which is kind of useful to know. So a no man's quest starts when he hits level 12, which means his st uh, quest starts in 208,807 XP, which would be pretty cool. Uh, basically, once you hit level 12 and you're walking around Death Catla, somebody will just come up to you and then, you know, quest starts. So. Um, currently, we can't up, we can't kind of change our party around, but soon there's potential spaces opening up. Now, the problem with a no man being the one to leave is that the only replacement we have is Corgan, and Corgan currently, um, well, he won't join a port party with Hexat, which then kind of creates this awkward situation. Now, if Hexat could leave the party, we could put Corgan in, but then we don't do Hexat's quest. So really, we want Hexat's quest to be done quickly so that we can then have a more interesting party setup because we can then move in and out who we like. But anyway, we'll Very see. Well. It, we could also, um, I don't know whether it's in this game, we could end up in a situation like Baldur's Gate 1 where we have party members who won't join if our reputation is too high. So if we want to have an evil party member in our party, we may need to do them earlier because otherwise they might leave if you're too good later. So, I don't know. There's a whole bunch of, like, stacking things like that. Right now, though, you know, party is going to stay as it is. So, government district. I do also have a list of names for people who are companions with quests. Now, this is going to become relevant in this district, as we've already seen one. Yan. I don't know who Yan is. I know nothing about Yan. All I know is that his name is on a list of companions with quests. So, um, at some point, we may want to recruit Yan. Is he good? Is he evil? Will he join parties with vampires? Will he join parties with knights? Who knows? But, Yan is a person. That's as much as I can conclude. Uh, I just realized I walked past a couple here. Do you want to just walk into random estates? Sure. I mean, why not? It's not like they're going to be mad. I mean, they might be a little mad. Okay, they locked their doors. If they lock their doors, then I'm going to be like, let's not go in. If they don't lock their doors, however... It's free real estate. Quick save. With What's in all here? Speed, comrade. Nothing. Okay. This is exactly the same setup as a no man's estate or his father's estate. There's nothing here. Three chests in this room. No, just one singular thing. Just gonna sit and wait and see if it's a trap. Doesn't seem to be. It's locked. Okay, For walk honor away, hex that. Let's get Thank that you. lock. Okay, sure. Helm guides my I mean, path. it was worth coming in here, but like, not quite what I expected. The best okay. leaders also follow. The temple of Joaquin. Sure, let's go into the temple. Why does the temple need multiple guards? It oh. shall my anger has built to the point when I am shaking with pure rage. I, I must speak to you. I must gain some reassurance. I was going to say the reason why it has guards is because the temple looks like this inside. But a no man appears to be angry, so we'll speak with him. My father, that rude drunken bastard. He has cast me out of the family when I was only doing what I must. I cannot take vengeance when there is no proof, and he knows it. And yet... My heart cries out for vengeance, that my sister should lie murdered and the murderer laugh untouched. I am so full of hate I can barely control it. Please, my lady, you are the one I turned to for guidance when I was torn. Did I do the right thing? Should the dictates of honor truly overcome duty and justice? Well, we're going to stick with the same thing. And uh, You must not seek justice, it is the duty of the law. How would you feel if you killed Sarek and found him to be innocent? 
You must learn to control this anger. You knew it was the right path. It is the way of the order as well. I think we say number three. You must learn to control this anger. Let's not focus on, you know, like, did he do the right thing? We're just going to say the anger must be controlled. You did, you went down the path that was the path your order teaches. Focus on that. I know what you said is true, my lady, but my sister lies cold and unavenged, and the murderer laughs free. Surely the gods will make him pay. I know I cannot. I feel a little better now, my lady. My thanks for your console, um, consolation. Nothing, however, will take away this burning pain in my heart. Let us just move on. Okay. Well, I mean, that wasn't the worst it could have been. He's just, you know, venting. We're fine with venting. Hello. I trust you are here in good faith. Welcome to this altar devoted to our mistress of Koyan, Joaquin. She who smiles and all who trade. Is there something I might do for you? I thought Joaquin was dead. How can you still worship her? She's dead? She not a god? That seems worrying. Dear boy, Joaquin is not dead. She is missing. The goddess of joy... Lyra grants power to her worshippers in her stead for now. Some have abandoned our mistress for the god of caravans, Sean Dakul, and others, but there are many who wait patiently for her return. I have faith. Joaquin is Am's patron. When she returns, all that has ailed us will fade. You shall see. So the patron god of Am has gone missing. That seems like that should be a big deal. I never thought of trade as something you could worship. I'm sure there are many who think as you do, dear boy. How then do you explain all the good that trade has brought to the realms? Wondrous cities have been built. Communications go between cultures throughout Toril, all because of trade. Without it, we would still be living in caves. To many who ply trade, there is nothing more important in the world. Fortunes are made lost under Joaquin's auspices. I'd like to see your services. Of course. The Wokinar are always willing to serve, at a fair and honest price, of course. Okay, so he does have trade. Ooh, potions of healing? That's definitely a tempting thing to buy. Ooh, what's the druid's ring? Uh, charm animal. Okay, whatever. It doesn't come up enough for me to want it. I kind of feel like I want to buy the potions of healing, like all of them. I don't know, let's see what else we've got here. Uh, yeah, I think we just buy some of them. Let's see, well, he has 20. How much does 20 cost? I'm not going to add it up. Yeah, we'll buy that. I mean, why not? I mean, that... I, I worry sometimes. You, you worry? What, about my healing potion habit? I, I swear, it's just for, um, like, business use. Felix, do you worry about missing friends? About those missing or lost? Of course you do. I don't know what prompted me to ask. Hmm. Those I spent time with as a child, their absence is a great loss to me. I'm not sure why I brought it up. I just needed to know that the living and dead are still in mind. They grow distant, but vengeance must still come. What? Why are all my party members like, hey, we need a little bit of vengeance here. Like, just, just chill, okay? Anyway. I am becoming used to the aftermath of death, but I will not forget what must be avenged. There must be closure. I must do this even as I, as we, move on. Hmm. I know this better than any other. Old wrongs will not be forgotten. That is good to know. Those past beyond will be glad that we do not carry them as a burden, but that we do seek justice in their names. I, I don't brood all the time. I was just thinking of the past and what is to come. I'm trying to balance. Well, enough whining for today. Let's move on. Okay. Interesting. So yeah, a lot Very of talk well. of vengeance from all... From, like, well, I see now I think about it. All our party members currently are have, a, like, a good dose of vengeance. Apart from Yoshimo. Yoshimo's cool. But he wants to avenge his sister. You um, are cool. You want to avenge your husband. You got vengeance on your forget the relationship, other vampire. And 
I assume that is Nali it? is going to come to us and say she wants vengeance for, you know, her family house being, you know, burned and looted and Long pillaged and all that sort of, of stuff. It, it, it really seems like we got a vengeance rich party. Their name. I, there's probably not an accident that they all have similar things. Uh, what's going on here? Look ye all upon this foul drow that we have bound before ye. A creature of evil and darkness, my brethren. A creature of foulness and deceit, bent only on our destruction. This creature has foolishly come amongst us, my brethren, thinking that we would be lax in our senses. Tell me what should be done with it. Burn it! Burn her! Burn her! Wait, 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 no, we're good. Save her! Burn the drow! I burn the elf! Her dark and fiendish kin rose up from their underground homes and killed my father and brother! They are all evil, I tell you, all of them! Did they? Really? Then the drow shall burn! Gather round, my brethren, and witness the will of Bashava triumph over foul evil! It seems a dark elf has been caught and is about to be put to the torch. Good. Such a fate is no less than the fiend deserves. A no man? Really? Really? You Riven are mad! I have done nothing to any of you! I seek only to make my way without molestation. Why have you done this? Why? A companion? A companion with no quest? Oh. Hello. Done nothing. You are a drow elf, are you not? That is as good a reason as any. Ye shall be silent, evil one. The power of the maid of misrule will be demonstrated here today. Burn her now. Burn her. No, now, Olaf Blindial. Spout your evil speech if ye must, drow. But prepare yourself for your journey into the next world. Beg for forgiveness, beg for salvation, and hope that the cleansing fire will save ye. I have no love for Drow, or for this Drow in particular, but it does seem she has done nothing to deserve this fate other than simply be a Drow. This is not justice. I am ready, I think. Attack? Shah, my deliverance is in your hands. Wait, I recognize you. Oh, it is I, Viconia Devere. You must remember, my life depends on it. I have absolutely no idea who you are, lady, but I will save you. Please, Felix, I beg of you, save me from these madmen. Okay. With all speed, comrade. Oh, no, no, uh, you, there. You keep attacking, you keep attacking, backline squad, move. I will do what I must. This one kill. Make sure we focus on the commoners. Your priest spells have been disabled? What? We lost class hunt ranger? Wait, we became evil? Oh no no no. In my father's name! Our reputation. Okay, um kill. Die quickly, fool. Squad, kill. For the needy. I feel like I made a horrible <laughs> error in judgment. We must strive to maintain balance. Boff the potion. Well, um, how'd that go for you? For the needy. Does that noise that keeps popping up mean, uh, like actually you're uh, lowering your reputation? Uh, I mean, we saved somebody and we lower our reputation. What's happened here? This isn't right. We're supposed to be better than this. For honor and glory! Um, hey, Viconia. Please, I beg of you, free me. I have done nothing to deserve this treatment. Please! You're free? You see an elvish woman, a drow tied to the stake. A mob of people stand near. The occasional shout of burner comes from the crowd. Anger and fear crosses the drow's countenance. You, should cut her, you can cut her down if you wish, but this will surely anger the crowd. Okay. I see what I did wrong here. I think I see what I did wrong here. Yeah, yeah. You're meant to Very free well. her 
then murder everyone. Because then they're attacking you and it's all okay. Look here, Lisa! Then you done. You Spout your evil speech if ye must. Shah, my deliverance is in your hands. Yoshimo, save Wait. her. I recognize you. There we go. Praise the goddess. My thanks for your timely intervention. Um, where are we? Oh, yeah, there we go. Boldly, you walk up to the stake and cut the dry woman free. The armored men turn their ire upon you. What are you doing? Why have ye interfered with the judgment of Beshaba? Her will must be shown to the people. Allies of the foul creature. Allies of the drow. This can never be allowed. The drow dies. <coughs> Run for it. I see you're not meant to kill the commoners. <laughs> I understand now. Yes, you know what? That does make sense. That makes a lot of sense. Shoot him. Okay. Yeah, okay. I understand why we might be seen as evil then, when we just murdered everybody we could see. Yeah, okay. This is fine. Ooh, he has something cast on him. What, what's been cast on him? Miscast magic. Okay. I wasn't really planning on casting magic, but that's okay. To battle and Select everybody. Speed, oh wait, comrade. no, attack. Oh, we made her turn around and stop attacking by accidentally opening a conversation. Hello. I owe you my life, Abiel. You have saved me once again. I did nothing to provoke their attack, I tell you. I was passing through the city when the man guessed my identity under my hood. I was surprised and he called out to the others, revealing me. I suppose they assumed I was here to spy on them, fools. They're so quick to fear these riven. But come, we must be on our way soon if we are to avoid drawing another crowd. I distrust these barbaric people too much to hang about. It would be both a privilege and an honor to join you, Felix. We'll say you to my proposal. Truth be known, I am not opposed to having Viconia travel with us. Remember, though, that many will think less of us simply because she is here. I had not thought a drow could be so striking. A beautiful creature, this, if devoid of compassion, as I hear. Bring her or send her away, it matters not to me. The decision, ultimately, is Felix's. Have a backbone, Felix. Take me with you and I will fight by your side. Together we will vanquish all. Okay. Um. Hmm. Uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, we choose... Perhaps later? As you wish. I will be here a while yet. If you change your mind, Felix, I may be found amidst the artful monuments in the graveyard district. Okay, perfect. So she will be available later. I believe she doesn't have a quest, so it's unlikely we'll come back to her, but it's cool that we have the option. Most of this city is brimming with artless rabble who'd murder a drow as soon as draw breath, or worse. Look for me amongst the dead. Okay. The journal has been updated. Is that a finished journal? If I not have a quest, I believe like this is the quest that she has. Like save her and then she'll yeah, yeah. and then she's just with you. Cool. That's fine. Uh I said I was gonna pick up more random junk, so let's start picking up random I can junk. Carry no more. I am you was given us now upon the ground. No oh, we have a level up for Hex. That's kinda cool. It is done. Over here? Right, select everybody. For honor and glory! Quick save. Hexa, you have a level up. Let's do it. So open locks is as high as it'll ever need to be. Let's stick uh, detect illusion to 100 as well, because that seems useful. Uh, and then find traps. Yeah. I think find traps being higher is also useful. Cool. Right. Quick save. Hell We've got a new companion. It is time for us to go to, you know, maybe it's time for us to go to Joaquin's Promenade. Let's just see what we got first, actually. Maybe, maybe we can stall. By stall, I mean, like, do something else and then come back uh, to Joaquin's Promenade. Uh, send this over here. Anything that's just normal gets chucked into the bag. There we go. That can head here. Uh, those can stack. Those, I guess, could stay here for just now. That's alright. That can go in here. 
You need one space. Let's create you the space. Chuck you the bag. There we go. Yes, I think we managed to stall us needing to go back just yet. Yep, these can all go in here. I don't think anyone buys slings, but that's okay. Bullets plus one. Uh, we sell bullets plus one now, actually, don't we? Yeah, because we uh, have no use for them. That's Warhammer plus one. That can also go in the bag. Cool. Um, who is it? You have like one extra space. Let's just move them back. Seems fine. Arrows. Make sure everybody is equipped with arrows. Nalia. Yeah, let's just stack them to the max. Perfect. Right. Quick save. The best we didn't need to leave immediately. Follow. Prison. I mean, we could visit the prison. Why not? Hello, prison guard. Declare yourself. I'm sorry, but the prison is closed during the evening. No outside admittance is allowed. If you visit, wish to visit a prisoner, return in the morn. You know what? That's a fair. Um, that's a fair policy. No, no prison opening in the eve, uh, like in the evening. But it does appear like we could just walk in round the side here, by this unguarded door. I don't think that's a good idea. We have no reason to go to the prison. If he tells us the prison is shut, the prison is shut. Okay. Uh, let's keep having a look around here. So that Council of the Six is obviously where we were told to go. Um, by the person outside it for a mission for the cowled wizards, which seems awfully odd given that it really shouldn't be on our side. Oh, let me also just check something here. Uh, we do still, yes, we still have our spells, therefore we are not a fallen ranger. Good. It shall be done and that would done be bad. Well. Hello, Peony. Very you well. Like good I'm sword. sorry, sir, but are you expected? Uh, yes, I am actually. Is that so? Well, I do not recognize you. I find it highly unlikely that Lady Maria knows of you. Please leave the estate at once, sir. I'll not have strangers poking about. Fair point, fair point. <laughs> well, I mean, it's worth just having a look. If they tell us to leave, I'll leave. But, you know, if they don't, then I'll steal all their stuff. Wonder if there's anything over here. Like, there's a really long way to the district exit. So, I'd assume that there could be something here. Like maybe somebody's standing on this bridge? I don't know. Let's go along here then. Uh, this is the kind of place where I'm like, should I cast haste? <laughs> Just for exploration's sake. And I'm not entirely against the idea. Um, yeah. Oh, it has been pointed out. I was just thinking haste, then I was like, yeah, but then we need to rest to get our spells back. This is how my mind has connected this thought. Um, yes, there is a mode, apparently, which just rests until you are healed. Like, it will just continually use spells and rest until you're healed. The reason I'm not using that is because of timed quests. If we've got a quest with a timer, I don't want us to rest past the timer. Like, um, I would prefer to, like, rest once and then be able to do the quest. So that's why I don't have the setting on. I might be overly cautious on that one, as in I might be... It might be a caution thing and actually no quest is going to punish you for resting, but, you know, currently I'm like, it could, and that's why I have it set like that, so that we have to rest, we have to manually click the rest button for all the rests. Anyway. The light shall prevail. Anything in here? Nope. Nope. Okay. So nice of them to just let you wander around. Uh, anything in here? Um... Yeah, okay, that's weird. Let's move on. A locked door. Well. Very good. It's not very polite for them to have is barred from the other side? What is it with all oh. speed, comrade? That's interesting. Hmm. It's locked from the other side. Or it's barred from the other side. Weird. You must gather your party okay. before venturing forth. Well, for I'm assuming the other side glory. must be over here. In the Yistev estate. But still weird. Let's let ourselves in. Hell Hello. Guides my path. Need something strange. Yes, sir. May I tell you be of some assistance to you? Have you business with the Yestevs? Yestevs? Might I ask what business they are in? No, you may not. Their affairs are their own, and unannounced guests are not privy to them. Now, did you have a purpose here? No, I'm sorry, I don't have a reason to speak with you. 
No trouble at all. The door is back the way you came. <laughs> the best leaders. Very so politely far. being told to uh, leave. Okay. Uh, well, I guess we're going to the Council of Six building. That seems fair. There's a squirrel there. In case you were just like wondering about squirrels. Um. Right. Let's see here. Where does this building go? There's a girl there, and then we've got like a random door that leads somewhere. Hello, girl. You're a stranger. I don't feel so good. It's locked, huh? Girl, don't judge me. If that is what you want. Barred from the other side. It shall be done okay, well. and done well. Fine. Fine. There might just be one building in here that actually has anything in it. Oh, who's Delon? Who are you? Uh, oh, oh, hello, sir. And hell, hello to you, young man. What might your name be? My name's D Delon. I was uh, sent to f find someone, but things have gotten on all wrong. I've, I've had all my money stolen, I'm lost, and everyone's so mean. Oh. Who were you sent to find? Perhaps I can help. I'm not looking for any one person, sir. I was sent to find someone who could help my village. Terrible things are happening there. Nobody knows what to do. Um. Oh, what are you talking about? Why does your village need help? I'm from um, Imsvale in the um, in the Umar Hills. People have disappeared. Some of them have turned up, but they're all turned inside out and mad. And even worse, everyone says that they've seen strange beasts out in the hills. Everyone's so frightened, there's even talk that Umar himself has returned. Who is this Umar? Umar was a witch who terrorized Am a long time ago. Her mother says the hills were named after her, but she disappeared so long ago nobody remembers what happened. Lots of people say she's come back to bring vengeance upon us. Mother says it's just stories, but I don't know. What kind of strange beasts do people say they've seen? People have been saying lots of things. Some say it's creatures made by magic. Others say it's just a big wolf pack hunting in the hills. Is there no evidence of what's behind all this trouble? Nobody knows. Those that show up are all twisted and strange, completely mad. Then they die and their bodies disappear. Minister Lloyd can't figure it out. Where is this, um, Imsvale? Perhaps I will check out the situation myself. I can show you where it is on your map. I'm sure Minister Lloyd would be ever so grateful if you could aid the village. Everyone is terribly frightened. Well, very well. I will go to your village and see what I can do to help. You would? Oh, wonderful. Thank you so much. When you get to Imsville, or uh, Imnes, it's probably Imnesville, talk to um, Minister Lloyd. He can tell you everything. Thank you, sir. I hope you intend to go to this village soon, Felix. A visit to greener lands would be welcome after a trek through this crowded city. Oh, I thought she was going to say there was a time limit very on well. it, but actually, while she was saying is she hates the city. Which is much more acceptable. Right. Now, in here... I thought this was where... I thought we saw Yan in the government district. I was sure we saw someone called Yan in here. Maybe not. Okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, maybe we saw him somewhere else. Anyway, Jeremiah Jamtos. I've been sent from one person to another for six weeks now. Does nobody actually do anything here? Korgeg Axehand. Is there a reason you are here? You should make an appointment to request an audience, or speak directly with Officer Rowanall. He serves as a liaison to the mil to the nobility. Sorry to bother you, I was just looking around. As you will, but you will not. But you may not be allowed access to some areas. This is the heart of government, after all. Okay, Corneil. Speak up. Speak what is it you up. wish? We're obviously out of place here, so unless you have. Um, pressing business. I am very busy and do not wish to be bothered by such as you. Might you help me? I have an interest in those taken by the cowled wizards. What happens to those taken by the cowled wizards is not for decent people to know. No magic user goes unknown. And all may pass through here, but that information is not for you. Good day. Oh. Okay. With all Council speed, Secretary comrade. Ewen. My time is quick, so hmm. be brief. Ah, Amen. yes. The daughter of Lord Darnis, the council is taking the matter of your father under advisement. We can let you know in, say, three to four weeks. <sighs> Don't bother, truly. Hello. 
I'll heed no churlishness. Be gone, peasant. peasant. I am the lord of one of Am's great families, and I'll not have your rude stench assaulting my nostrils. You find it a little odd we're being treated like this. We have two members of the nobility with us, but, you know, whatever. Uh, this is the first king of Am, Esmil Torlath, who established the country after the breakup of the Shun Empire almost a thousand years ago. The throne below the statue is long unoccupied. I was to see whether we could occupy it. It's fine. Chief Inspector Brega. Hello. Who are you? Is there something that you need, citizen? Who are you? Chief Inspector Brega at your service. I work under the magistrate investigating the crimes of this city. And there are plenty that require my attention, believe you me. I'm told that magic is illegal in Athkatla. This is true. The use of magic is illegal unless sanctioned by the council. Look the cowled wizards are. That leads to chaos. Just look at the damage in the promenade. What happens to people who are arrested by these cowled, by the cowled wizards? The handling of magic users is not my provident, uh, is not my province. Uh, only the cowled wizards know for sure. What matters to the council is that they deal with it. Um, do you know where the cowled wizards are then? You don't. Um, you don't. Uh, sorry, I think I said the previous one wrong, so it's what he's saying doesn't make sense. I do apologize. Um, where can I find the cowled wizards then? You don't. Nor would I uh, suggest attempting to do so. The cowled wizards are dangerous. I would pray that uh, they do not discover your interest. What do the cowled wizards do with those they arrest? The handle. Okay, same thing. Do you know anything about that incident in the promenade you mentioned? Cowled wizards arrested two magic users. Shadow thieves were also involved, apparently, attacking one of the wizards. Beyond that, no, I know very little. Why would the shadow thieves be interested in attacking a wizard? Hmm, I don't know. Why don't you ask them? Aren't you interested? Isn't that your job? Ah, I'll tell you what my job isn't. You're forced to listen to idiots like yourself. Good day. Alright, I guess we come back to him later in the story, maybe? I'm assuming. Like, maybe we, once we need a chief inspector, we come back to him. Larsh. Not touch me. Yes, what can is it? Can't you see I'm it? quite busy? Who are you? Hmm, you can't be a local, that's for sure. Now you're looking at the official herald of, for Athkatla. Keep her a family crest and records. Now beat it. Okay, alright, I'm going. Perfect. Well, that's fine. Well, I guess we'll speak with uh, Tolgaris and see what he has to say. Or Tolgarius and see what he has to say. Given that he wanted to speak with us. Hello. I am one of the few who are chosen. Ah, yes. I see Medin has proven to be his faithful self as usual. How do you do, my lord, considering the city is so harsh and strangers, eh? Perhaps Medin has let slip a little of what this is about. No? Hmm. Well, yes, I do have something I would like you very much to do, if you'd care to hear it. Um, first... I would like to know where Imowen is. Imowen, Ah, the girl arrested along with the wizard. I do not have such inconsequential information on me, so put aside such demands. Hmm. Um. Well. If I must, but you put me in a difficult position asking for a commitment to a task I know nothing about. Yes, it is a lot for even I to ask, eh? You are more than capable of performing this task, and it will conflict with none of your current loyalties. Oh, really? You think it will conflict with nothing? So far, that is not proven to be true. Then you would garner the goodwill of the cowled wizards, not to mention a substantial reward. But if you are determined to refuse, I certainly cannot stop you. Hmm. Well, all right then. I agree to perform this task. Tell me what you would have me do. Excellent. Your agreement needs uh, means that the cowled wizard shall hold you to your word. This matter must be handled with discretion and expediency. There is something that has been plaguing us for more than a week now and has become quite alarming. Uh, you know of the prevailing attitude towards magic here in Arm, yes? Well, among some, it is even worse than that. A burning, palpable hatred. One particular man here in Athkatla has murdered two of our number in cold blood. He is currently in hiding, and we need you to track the fellow down. We've been unable to do so much to our frustration. Cowled wizards cannot be assaulted without repercussions or it will lead to serious problems. 
Who is this murderer then, and how am I supposed to track him down when you failed? He is... Veligar Krothala, the last son of a wealthy family and a true brute. Ask around, he may discover he's hiding within the city or someplace else. He has a home in the docks district, or he may have fled to the Umar Hills. His friends and servants will not speak to us, but they may to you. Um, on what my, uh, and just what am I supposed to do with this Valigar fellow once I find him? I am no murderer, <laughs> I say, having one of the largest body counts in the, uh, like, you know, I forget what the, in Faerun. That, that would be a, one of the largest body counts in Faerun. You see, that would have been a better joke had I had that, you know. On, uh, like, you know, ready to go. Anyway, yes. We do not ask that you commit any murder. We wish Veligar be delivered to us, that is all. He will likely resist, so if you must kill him, so be it. Well, well surely all murderers must be brought to task. I wonder what manner of justice the cowled wizards would apply. It is something to consider. But if you do kill him, I simply must have his body. Veligar must be delivered to us whether he is alive or dead. You understand this, yes. Uh, tell me more about him. Wait, we've already done that one. Is there anything else I should know? There is nothing I can think of. Perform your promised task and the cowled wizards shall be pleased. Hmm. Very well. I will hunt this murderer down and return him to you. Ah, you gave your word, so I expect nothing less. I will... I await the sight of this murderer's body soon. For okay, sure, I'll leave. You must gather your party before um, venturing forth. Long force. live the order of the most radiant heart. Now, for the I other person the that we're looking right for is... There we go. Aim. See Jan down here? Companion with a quest. Uh, we're going to completely ignore him currently because, well, quite frankly, we're not ready to do the quest. And that is the government district explored. Kind of a lot less to do than in the slums district, but we got a couple of quests, which is good. And we saved uh, Viconia. Right, let's head to Joaquin's Promenade and see whether... Excuse yourself. me. I've been waylaid. Shoot him. Shoot him. Attack. 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 I see you shoot that one. Go. Nice. Uh, back line? This one. Make sure they're dead. There we go. We got him. Before a lightning bolt could kill us all. I mean, it got close, but you know. This one. This one. Okay. Right. Quick save. Okay, can't save at this time. Sure, we can save soon, though. Maybe we have to leave the district. There we go. Maybe it doesn't like saving the and the uh, also like random zones it creates. Right. In the front here. And off to the shops. You're a little hurt, but we could always rest back up uh, this area. So I'm not too worried about it. Right. In here. Squirrel and a moose. Um, I think where we want to go. I think we want to go this way and then kind of... Yeah, I think we just want to go and rest, actually. I think that makes the most sense for us right now. So which one of these was the place we needed to go? Mithrist Inn. That, that I think, would be the better one. It's one where you can rest in a nice bed. I don't really know what the benefit of the nice bed is, but, like, we'll rest there it anyway. It shall be done and done well. Right. Um, hey, Pugney. I think I... Uh, the next area we should explore is the docks. The reason I think we should explore the docks next is because um, it's like, like a lot of quests are located there. It seems like it's hinting us to go there next. So maybe that's somewhere to go after uh, we go shopping. Yeah, I was just thinking in my head there. Uh, it seems like a reasonable place to go. We could also go to the prison now that it's daytime, but I don't think that the prison is... Uh, you know, that sensible place to go. Let's see. Uh, who who had interesting stuff here? Did anyone? Maybe the weaponsmith had interesting stuff here? I don't think the adventurer's mark did. Uh, yeah, 
Yeah, nobody really had like some anything too exciting, I think. Maybe they did. I just can't remember. Let's speak to this storekeep. You will find no better prices in arm. I guarantee uh, it. Yes. Do you ever make any special weapons? Oh, the stout one's name is Cromwell, my lord, and his shop was in the docks district here in the city. I'll tell you one thing, my lord. I can create the finest of musical horns. A dwarf knows uh, not this art. But enough of my meanderings. Perhaps you would like to look at Mahir's stock of weapons now? Sure. Right. I accidentally skipped some of the earlier dialogue, but he basically told us about another shop that sells better stuff. Okay, so yeah, this guy doesn't seem like he sells anything exciting. Clubs don't sell. Okay, good to know. These all don't really sell for anything. That's fine. Nothing you've got really sells. Um, that's fine. It's fine. Okay, let's check in here. Um, winter wolf pelt. Longbows. Long swords. Plate mail, splint mail, helmet, studded leather, short sword, chain mail, bast sword, leather armor, dagger, scimitar, and flail. Sell. Oh, and the bullets. Yeah. And the warhammer. And the scimitar. And the medium shield. And, this, and these as well. Okay, slings don't sell, bullets don't sell. Okay. So, in here... Uh... Let's take out the sling and the bullet, and we'll just chuck them on the ground. Uh, yes. 19, please. There we go. So then we're just gonna chuck them on the ground, because nobody wants them. Here, chuck that on the ground. These can all go to Nalia. Right. Looking much better now in terms of random junk that we're carrying around. New spell, monster summoning. Copied it for XP. The other spells can go in the spell scroll. Nice. With all speed, Four thousand experience. Uh, you know what? Actually, I think if, I know somewhere better for us to go than uh, the. Uh, did we speak to these two? We must have. Yeah, we must have spoken to those two before. Right. I mean, we're here though. We could speak to them just because we're in the area. I suppose. My time is quick, so ah, good day brief, to you. I'm Lord Derm Dermod Ophal, and this is my wife, Lady Shireen. Uh, we, we have, we, hmm, what do you think, my dear? I think the stin uh, skin tone is wrong for Kalashit. Indeed. Uh, Cormirian, perhaps? Nonsense, this is uh, not nearly enough class. Waterdeep, perchance? Not nearly civilized enough to be from Waterdeep, darling. Now you're just being silly. Well, don't, you don't think they're Amnian, do you, sweet? Certainly not. They don't look half as uh, so wealthy as to be Amnian. Well then, why am I speaking to them? Agreed. Shh. They'll hear us. Excuse me, but we've decided to snub you. Yes, we have good business then, and good day. I hear you well oh. for honor and glory. Okay. Well, I'm gonna leave. Uh, but yes, I thought it was somewhere better for us to go. We should go to the graveyard district and hand in the teddy bear. That seems like a really easy quest for us to uh, get off the list. Uh, mainly because we have the teddy bear. And that's the end of the quest. I know, it's, it's a shocking one. Uh, so we want to go to... Graveyard? Helm guides uh, my we path. want to ignore anyone who we don't already know. Although it is interesting, we've got different people at day and then we have at night. wonder whether it's worth going to the government district during the day as well. Yeah, we also need to explore this whole place. It has an underground crypt that we just noped out of. Was the guy up here? Maybe the ghosts also only appear at, um, at night? Yeah, that's possible. Uh, yeah, they might only appear at night. Thought he was over here, but I guess not. Hmm. So we haven't been in all the buildings yet, because these are all entrances to the tombs. Okay, interesting. Well, I guess we shall return at night time then. Drunken cleric of Talos and Nevin. Help me! Help me, please! What's the problem? His uncle Lester! He's risen from his grave! He scared everyone away who was at the funeral, and now he's come after me! I put up with that cheap bastard all my life. You know what he left me in his will? A sweater. 
Now even in death, a damnable fiend still torments me. Oh, okay. We're gonna kill Uncle Lester? Yeah, kill him? Do something with vengeance! Weapon something no is wrong here! Really? 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 He's just gonna run away? This is very funny. Okay, back Seven. to this squad. You're heading this way. This squad, you're the heading up here. The best also follow. We'll catch him. I can do that. Cheap sweater! Well, I'll have you know that belonged to your grandfather, you ungrateful git! Ah! It's him! Call me a fiend, will you? Well, I've never seen such a cheap funeral in my life! You sold my clothes and kept the casket closed! You picked the flowers this morning from near the swamp! And he gave me a drunken priest to Talos, a few coppers, to slur some lines of profanity to pass for a eulogy. The outrage, the sheer outrage. Yeah, how, how could I afford anything, old fool? You left all your money to that Kalashit whore. You're lucky I didn't dump you in the river. Ah, the indignity, the insufferable indignity, you mes miserable wretch of a nephew. Head back to the grave, you worm-ridden devil. Only you would rise from the dead to torment me. Oh, I'll go all back all right, but not before I kill you, you disgusting piece of filth. Prepare to die, Nevin. Eek, save me, save me. All right, uh, attack. Something is wrong oh, here. My ways. weapon has no effect. Yeah, okay, your weapon has no effect. But don't worry, it's not like it's a life or death situation for us. Right, there you go. You feel better now? Now your weapons will do damage. There, stupid git didn't deserve more than a sweater and a kick in the rump anyway. Hmm. I wonder where my Kalashit darling went off to. Always time for one last quickie. It shall be. Um, I mean, the light shall he's already prevail. dead. I don't really feel like we need to uh, waste our ammo. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll just like strike that one. When the parts, you know, tell our story, we'll just like ignore that one, huh? Did you guys like to loot the body? Wonderful. Yes, everybody down here. That includes you, Yoshimo. Okay, hello. One for Talos. One for me. Okay. So who we're looking for is no longer here. Who's Risa? Hello. Risa and Arenthus. Um, hello. Sniff. I am Don Lord Arenthus of the Church of Lathandar. Excuse my young charge. Risa doesn't talk much since the death of her parents. Hmm. That's terrible. Indeed it is. There is very little that can be done for her as well, other than to put her into an orphanage, I suppose. She's so shy and sad, though. I'm sure it will do her no good. Ugh. I would not ask you to care for her, surely, but you might know someone who would make a suitable guardian. No, I do not know of anyone. Ah, oh, that is too bad. If someone does come to mind, please return and tell me. I would like to help this girl if I can. Lathander's blessing upon you, my lord. Okay, if I find somebody who would, you know, be a good person to adopt this random person that we met, then, like, you know, I'll get right on it. Maybe it's the only other people in the graveyard? I didn't really plan to explore the graveyard. I thought I'd just hand in a quest, but I think we have to come back at night. Yeah, that would be likely. Hello, Kamir. Who are you? Helm sees all. Hold know there. And be judged. You have an aura of suspicion about you. I warn you that I am Kamir, Paladin of Helm. I'll work no trespass on this, my darkest of days. Why? Tell me what you're doing here. I am no more the unique than most who come here. My son lies in yon wee grave. I... I failed my oath to protect the lad, and he's been taken from me. Hmm. I'm sure there is no need to blame yourself. You know not of what you speak, though I'm sure you mean well. 
I took the boy under my protection when his mother was slain by foul orcs in the mountains. I knew not her name and could not save her from her injuries after I killed the orcs. She gave her son to me. I swore an oath to look after him as my own. And I have, I mean, that I did. I love, loved the lad dearly. Stefan, I named him. Strong, honest boy. But I was called to duty to Tithir. On my return, I discovered Stefan had been slain by brigands. I, I, I should have been there for him. Hmm. Well, you did all that you could. You are not to be blamed. But I am. I failed my vow. And I know no way in which I can atone for my failure. If if there was only some way, I would gladly, I would embrace it gladly. I may know of a way. There is an orphan girl not far from here, accompanied by a priest of Lathander. Perhaps you could atone by caring for her. An orphan, you say? Perhaps. Perhaps that would be a way to atone for my failure. Thank you, my lord. I shall go and talk to them at once. I did it. <laughs> Turns out it was the only other people in the graveyard. I actually didn't think it would be that easy. But there you go. I was thinking maybe you have to go and find somebody who runs an orphanage or, you know, like something like that. Not just literally the people who were at the other side. Like, ah, sorry to hear about your dead son. I got a daughter over here, though. You can have her. Greetings again, my lord. Lathander's blessing to you. Go away. Very rude as a child. Oh, I have to wait for Kamir to get here. Greetings to you both. I understand the girl is in need of a guardian. I'm pleased to meet you. This is... Risa, my name is Risa. Yes, uh, I am most pleased to agree. This is Risa. Hello, Risa. I am happy to meet you. Are you a knight? Your armor is awfully shiny. I am a paladin, little one. Something like a knight. I hold myself to strict standards within the worship of Helm. Do you know who Helm is? No. Then I, then I suppose I shall have to teach you. Yes, I could teach you. Would you like that, Risa? Don't you have any children? Nay. Sadly, my son has recently died. Oh, he must be very sad. Yes, I am. I miss him very much. I think he would approve, however, of my taking care of you. That is, if you are willing. Okay, where do you live? Come, I shall show you the church. Thank you, Tleric. Thank you too, my lord. I am most appreciative. Hey, I did it. it. shall be done, and done well. I am pleased at this wonderful turn of events. Lathander's greatest blessings upon you, my lord, for the part you have played in this. Sometimes, sometimes Faerun can be a kind place. Okay, I solved the quest. Cannot save it this time, though. It's because Risa's moving. Right, let's get out of here, then we can save. You have been waylaid by enemies, and must You've been defend. waylaid by enemies, huh? Alright, attack. Stand amongst the righteous. Uh, attack. I attack. 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 Go. You shall suffer my wrath. Right, we killed the mage before they could get off lightning bolt. That's a huge improvement. Attack. In my father's name. Right, this one. You two, this one. You three, this one. You, that one. Everybody, this one. With vengeance. Right. Grab all that. You know what? I'm not taking these. I, they, these don't sell. <laughs> like, anything that's plus one or above, I'm, I'm willing to sell. Like, actually, armor kind of sells. We'll keep armor, but like... <laughs> The, the basic weapons itself are one or two is just a waste of time uh, to carry around. There we go. They, they can at least be put into here. And we'll sell them later. Right. Didn't get rid of the Very teddy well. bear. That's okay. Leave here and back to the government district. Government district. <clears throat> I just want to see if there's anybody outside at daytime. That's that's our only real requirement here. There are people here. Okay, cool. Well, given that we've got people here and we got a prison to explore, what I think we're going to do is we're going to speak to everybody next time. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.